the Armed Forces provides amazing training. I think about veterans as people who have already figured out how to serve. My military skills have been essential. Hiring veterans is a great business case. They're the best employees we have. They're flexible, hardworking, and they're used to a global workplace. If that isn't an asset to any company, I don't know what is. Hiring America. The award-winning television job fair for American veterans. Connecting you with companies who know your value. Learn about employers who are actively hiring today and organizations that support veterans. Your future success starts right here on Hiring America. Produced in partnership with DAV, fulfilling our promises to the men and women who served. Los Angeles, California is home to more veterans than any other city in the United States. And since an estimated 25% of transitioning service members want to start their own business, it's the perfect place to catch up to Bunker Lab's Muster Across America event. A national network of veteran entrepreneurs, Bunker Labs is dedicated to helping veterans start their own businesses. Hoping to encourage the companies to start up in his city, Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti also made an appearance and gave his support to Bunker Lab's mission. We, we aim to serve. We aim, since we work seven days a week, we're always available. Yeah, yeah. 24-7. This economy needs veterans. Um, this economy needs veterans working in great jobs, but it needs veterans who are also agents of change, who are the ones who are starting new businesses. Hey, how are you, Jennifer? <laughs> nice, to, nice see you. to see you. My mind's already thinking. Being a veteran myself helped me have a sense of belonging to something bigger than myself, of having a group of folks that speak a, a secret language, that we understand each other. For me, that's something I take with me every single day. When I meet a fellow vet, it's like meeting an old friend. It's like meeting a long lost cousin. I was in the army for six years and when I got out of the military I found myself constantly searching for that same feeling of camaraderie, the value system and really just feeling like I had a tribe like I had when I was in the army. So we're really looking for that community, for those connections and really that help that we need to help accelerate us to the next step of our lives and our journey. And for Bunker Labs we really focus on the veteran entrepreneurs. So if you're out there and you're thinking about being an entrepreneur, if you're thinking about launching or starting a business or really just finding that tribe and that camaraderie that we have when we were in the military. Look us up. We're in locations all across the United States. Hey, how you doing, Andres? Nice Pleasure to meet you. To meet Eric, you. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet a Columbia alumni. Yeah, I know. I saw him. Yeah, you be there, Being right? able to tell yeah, exactly. somebody who's in Bunker Labs, you know, some of the things that are on your mind that you might not want to share with the rest of your team, or they just, they've been there and done that as both a veteran, as an entrepreneur, and can commiserate. That's really important and so as to helping solve some of the technical challenges that companies face. Hi, nice to meet pleasure. you. Nice to meet you. What's Ian Schutner. Hi, pleasure. CEO pleasure. of Randian. Awesome. This is uh, Randall. Hey, Randall, how are you? Pleasure, Eric. Nice. I think more so than any other entrepreneur group that I've ever been a part of, uh, we really look out for each other. And I think that we move together as a team. It's the no soldier left behind philosophy that we all win when one of us wins. And uh, there's a prize uh, being offered today, but I think no matter who wins, we all feel like we're a part of that success. Find out uh, if you want that suit, uh -huh. which would look good on you. Yep. Uh, it comes up here, and it doesn't Flattery stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> Veterans aren't thought of often as entrepreneurs, and yet they are the perfect qualities for entrepreneurship. Even though inside the military we come from a more structured environment, we're always thrown into some crazy new environment with new people we've never met, uh, doing things that we didn't expect to be doing. That's the definition of what an entrepreneur does 10 or 20 times a day. I believe that veterans are great entrepreneurs and that it's you know absolutely critical that they find a way to, to add value to the economy. That's where we saw the opportunity. People love the food and flavors, but you know people couldn't access it and it wasn't being marketed to the, to the American consumer. Yeah, right, right. The mentality and discipline that you have in the military and the uh, you know, never surrender, I will always get the mission done, just translates so well into uh, the roles and life yeah, of an entrepreneur. Like for sure. Thanks. Thanks. You got it. Hey man, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Pleasure. Okay. Xavier, tell me about your company. So uh, Today was a great experience. I got to you know, have social connections with different veteran entrepreneurs, meet people who tried my product for the first time, hear wonderful feedback on other veterans' business models, my business model, 
and essentially kind of eternalize that information and understand where it positions me in that space. One of the best experiences I had today was meeting Mayor Eric Garcetti. It was great and um, very appreciative of him and his office coming out to show support for Bunker Labs and the muster event happening tonight. I love that he showed like the, the time commitment and you know there's a lot of speaking off camera and personal commitment right, so that made me know that he really does care and wants to make you know the veteran entrepreneur successful in Los Angeles. You know I met veterans from every branch, uh, veterans who are doing all sorts of things from helping our health care to expand, uh, improving our economy, changing paradigms like rentals from companies instead of buying things from companies and then great consumer products whether it's you know matcha tea wow. <laughs> a glow-in-the-dark yeah, beer who knew I mean, it shows the creativity of veterans is just as strong if not even stronger than the population at large I have a lot of confidence that you're gonna see some big companies come out of bunker labs and even the ones that don't they hit a home run, the experience they get working together, they're ready for the next one to keep going. And what's so exciting about this today is for the entrepreneur class that we see here today, that, that really is um, very different than the military culture. It's rare that we can, we're always uh, called on to be creative, but there's a lot of structure around us. To take that jump in is very scary, I think, for anybody, let alone for a veteran, to say, look, I'm gonna try and start something new. I'm gonna be a part of that future. Um, but to me, that's, what will make this, this country continue to be strong. I think what veterans need to know is you have this in you, don't be scared. Take that dream, take that idea, get some skills, network and join a group like Bunker Labs and you could be the next big thing. Next on Hiring America, the veteran entrepreneurs take their turn in the spotlight, pitching their business plans to venture capitalists. And as you can see on the stepladder, that is exactly what we want to do for each and every single veteran that we meet and then we put into these properties. Join the conversation. Follow Hiring America on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Back at the Bunker Labs, the pressure is on as the veteran entrepreneurs take the stage to pitch their ideas and their company's futures to potential investors. It's not just younger viewers. Across the board, this is a trend. Certified organic, verified non-GMO. Best source in the world, where Macho was founded. The co-founders of the housing nonprofit Tent Hut are next in line to find out if their business plan's good enough to turn their dream into a reality. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What we're doing is actually taking a distressed property rehabbing it, place the veteran or veteran with families, and then there's some ways of actually paying their rent, and it's gonna be affordable. The ultimate dream is for Ten Hut to be spread across the U.S., but with every veteran that we help, if they want to take this mission on, on their own, we want to be able to give it to them, give them the tools, give them the, the, the leadership, and take it across as, as far as you can. I drifted from couch to couch. I needed to redirect myself and find that purpose, and I found it. A really good, strong entrepreneur is somebody that can inspire somebody else to come and work for them. The ability to hire and inspire people is critical. The ability to build a product that somebody will want to pay for and actually you know, use is a very important factor. Those are the three things. Can you hire, can you ship, and can you sell? Those are the three things we look for. A third of my portfolio in my venture capital fund is founded by veterans, so we actively seek out and invest in veterans. So I spent a lot of time trying to make them um, hone their message, sharpen it up, um, really explain very succinctly about what it's doing, the value proposition, how it's going to generate revenue, how it's going to make a difference in the world. And what, we, what we want to do is acquire properties over the, these opportunity zones in California, which are distress zones that the government is pushing to develop. We also look for founders who can answer the question of why now. So why is now the right time for your company to exist? What has changed in the market that enables it to exist today? Is it consumer attitudes or is it something in the technology stack? We also look for founders that can have a logical reason as to why they're building that company. So why you? When I got out of the military, my wife, my daughter, myself, we actually had, we were not prepared to transition out. And we had no guidance. We, it was very difficult for us to find affordable housing and there was 
plenty of times that we actually were at risk of being homeless. For me, helping those other veterans actually got me to be nominated for Veteran of the Year in L.A. County in 2011 and 2012. I do hold an MBA uh, in finance and marketing. I'm currently chasing after my PhD in finance and philosophy. They're two founders that, again, just have so much heart and passion. And when they're on stage, it's very difficult not to want to invest in them. They are two founders who have experienced the veteran drifter problem. And they've gone on to earn PhDs, to become financial advisors. It's that kind of transformation that is investable. It's totally unique. And as an investor myself, it would make me proud to be a part of that company. So right now on the yellow is where tenants are actually paying the rent. And on the green is where we want to place the veteran and actually use our nonprofit to collaborate with them and use our wraparound services. What Tent Hut is creating are communities, housing communities, that are designed to help veterans transition from retiring out of the forces and then merging into normal civilian life. So that not only are they creating a real estate complex where people can live and stay and maybe even own a property, they're also providing services that help them with that transition, so career advice, you know, counseling for, towards PTSD, thinking about how you manage, how you integrate back with your family after you've been away for, for a couple of years, things like that. I, I was telling Pedro earlier, like, we needed a win. And what it means to us today is like, we get to do a lot more things and really hone in on what the veteran drifter is, not only for us, but for the community. So at the beginning when we started the program, we knew exactly what we wanted to do. We just didn't know how to convey it. We don't know how to uh, present it to, to someone. And we learned through a sh such a sh uh, short amount of time. And I, I have to say, we are, I feel very successful because we went from not knowing very well how to get this done to winning, right? And it's really awesome. Yeah. Such a great, 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 great success. And, and I know we have this positive energy going on right now. Yes. All right. Congratulations, brother. <laughs>I am a veteran, and my victory was finding the strength to be a champion. I am a veteran. My victory is having a job I can be proud of. America's veterans are on their most important tour, the tour of their lives. My victory was finishing my education. Mine is proving a disability is not a limitation. At DAV, we're on a mission to help veterans get the benefits they've earned. My victory is having my new battle buddy. As veterans face their challenges, DAV is there to help for victories great and small. I'm a veteran, and my victory is getting the help I needed to put my life back together. DAV offers veterans of all generations a lifetime of support. I'm a veteran. My victory is being there for my family. When America's veterans win, we all win. Help us support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. I don't even really remember not being a Marine. It's only been five years, but everything else feels like it was like my childhood. It's very scary trying to go out into the job market, especially when you have a job that doesn't translate very well into non-government organizations. One of my friends told me about Workshops for Warriors. He told me that they set up a resume, help you get certifications, and that most of the people who graduate Workshops for Warriors end up with those jobs. That seemed like a really good life decision for me, so I decided to do it. My name is Zach Pirabello. I'm 23 years old, and I'm from Orange County, California. Right now, there are 2.3 million advanced manufacturing jobs that are going unfilled due to lack of skilled labor. There is no nationally recognized pipeline to fill that skills gap. I founded Workshops for Warriors because I wanted to change that. Our veterans are leaving service perhaps with a very specialized skill set that might not fit in the existing workforce. We're always focused in trying to find ways to serve them better. But Government can't provide all the answers. That's where Workshops for Warriors comes in. They help create that pipeline to have people be competitive for those jobs. 
Workshops for Warriors is the only accredited school in the nation that does advanced manufacturing training for veterans, wounded warriors, and transitioning service members. But a veteran needs a lot more than just training. And that's where our partnership with Hire Heroes is so important. As people get out of the military, there's something that they've never done before, and that's find a job inside of the civilian job market. Hire Heroes comes along and we help them talk about their soft skills. We're going to work with them on their first probably ever resume. We're going to teach them how to network. We're going to walk them through interviewing, including getting them a mock interview. And at that time, now they're ready to really go out there and do the job search. Whether they've been in four years or 25 years, a lot of them have never done a civilian job search. They think, you know, I'm a senior manager in the military and so I'm going to automatically be a senior manager in my civilian job and that's not always the case. Hire Heroes USA is teaching them those skills to go into the job fair, not only to get a job, but getting a meaningful career. When employers see that you have four or five years in the military, but that you don't have any experience with the field that you're trying to get into, they're not going to find you as a favorable candidate. With Workshops for Warriors, you're able to have something on paper that says this guy knows what he's doing. In the classroom, we're working on programming, learning SolidWorks, learning Mastercam, and then when we're in the shop, we're able to actually gain experience using the machines. It'll take the regular civilian company six to nine months to train somebody up to be productive. With us, it takes 16 weeks. At the end of the 16 weeks, companies are able to meet with the students, they're able to interview them, and some students get hired right straight on the spot. As soon as Zach sat down and began talking, I said, I want that guy. Honestly, we were scared of hiring someone who's just learned how to machine in four months, but kind of with military does anyway. They learn a lot in a short period of time and they excelled rapidly. And that's what they've done at Solar Turbines. So we're here for the third time again. When you hire a veteran, you're going to get someone who's hardworking. Some of those skills that are hammered into us from day one when we join the military are things that transfer over and make us great employees. There are a lot of veterans out there who have had a rough time. You get these people who have given everything for their country and they can't support their families. That's when you start to see the rise in the suicide rate and the homeless rate. Giving them an opportunity to do something of worth is invaluable. Workshops for Warriors are making a huge impact and training up our vets so that we could support our families. They deserve our little bit of help that we can provide to get them in the civilian job market, which is then going to benefit the country as a whole. We have more people asking for our services than we can take every week, and there's still a demand. And so it's important to scale Hire Heroes because the need is out there. We have over one million young men and women that will be departing the service over the next five years. They've already served our nation in uniform, and they want to serve again, but this time in America's manufacturing force. Thanks for watching. Remember that you can always find this episode and others on our YouTube channel. Reach out to us at HiringAmerica.net or on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We want to hear your stories, questions, and comments. Join us again next week right here on Hiring America. Hiring America, produced in partnership with DAV, fulfilling our promises to the men and women who served. This program is made possible by the generous support of the following companies. Promotional consideration provided by JetBlue, a proud employer of those who served.